you are a genius and somewhere in you resides this deep interest, this gifting and this desire to get great at something. Um, I, as an educator, believe that about every single person I meet. When they come to my class, I, I teach IT and cybersecurity stuff. I am looking for that. I am looking for people's gifts. I'm looking for their abilities. And in many cases, I'm looking for self-inflicted beliefs that people might have about themselves that prevent them from being good at that thing. And over the years, as I've taught, I've felt and I believe strongly now that as long as there's an interest there, as long as there is a really an intense interest in a subject, even if you don't get it at first, you can become great at it. The reason that is the case is because I myself was like that with, with technology in particular, I didn't grow up um, being great at it. I was not the one that was building PCs and gaming rigs. And I, I watched my dad do it, but it wasn't until I got into college as an adult, really, that I really started to cultivate an understanding for, you know, computers uh, and IT, networking and cybersecurity. And it makes me think about one of my favorite quotes related to education by Albert Einstein. And, and it's right, right over here. It says, you know, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Everybody is a genius. And this is true. But I think for people to realize that, for you to realize that, if you haven't already, about yourself, you've got to believe that. You really have to start with belief there. And even when the skills aren't manifesting. If you see, oh, I'm going to be a penetration tester. I'm going to be a bug bounty hunter. I'm going to be a network admin, network engineer, working for SpaceX and helping connect satellites in space. And you say, but I don't know a thing about computers. If that intense interest resides in you and you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to sit down and read, you're willing to sit down and lab it up, get those certs that might be needed, get that degree that might be needed, then... It's going to happen. You're going to see that genius come out. There's another saying, and I promise I'll let you go, that I really think you should consider. And that is, you know, hard work pays off when talent doesn't work hard. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Because there are people you will come across that have this natural, well, perceived natural talent for a thing. And I do believe that kind of person exists that is sort of just crazy talented. And I can think, however you feel about them, I do believe, you know, in Elon Musk is like that. He's one of those people who's just deeply talented for whatever reason. And it may just come from this insatiable thirst to learn and do better and be great in the willingness to sacrifice things other people might not be willing to sacrifice which is why we see individuals like him get so good at so many different things. You will come across that talent, but pair that talent, pair your genius with the hard work element of actually doing it, sitting down, trying to get it to work. And I believe that you will, you will truly discover your genius and you will truly discover the, ta the multiple talents that you do have. With that, keep learning.